Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Evan with Zion. This is my Nexus 4 setup video. I've had this for a couple of days now and I finally got to setting it up the way I like it. Uh, I'll probably make it a little bit different as the weeks go on, but for now this is my optimal Android setup. Now just a little bit of information, I am running Android 4.3 rooted, so I do have root on my device. I'll show you a few tweaks I have and add-ons along with how my device is set up with my widgets and everything. Uh, but this isn't going to be a what's on my Nexus 4 video. I don't want to show you all of my applications because I just make for a really long video. And I want this to be focused mainly on the setup. So let's go to the lock screen uh, to show you what I have on my lock screen. This is my lock screen. I just have some widgets here, a messaging widget, an email widget, and my camera widget right here. So it's something too special on lock screen, of course. Uh, I don't really like lock screen widgets that much because they're not that useful to me. I just end up unlocking my device anyway. Uh, so if we go back and unlock my device here. Uh, here is my home screen as you saw in the beginning of the video so this is my main home screen it has uh, all the applications that I use most often of course this will probably expand as time goes on but this is basically what I have so if you want to look at the icons and try to guess which apps they are then you can go ahead and do that I have a few games such as Super Hexagon, Agent Dash, Fast Car Racing which is this free racing Android game and hardest game ever those are the games that I have but of course uh, this isn't a what's on my Android I just wanted to uh, let you know the games that I have on my device so far so I have all these apps just look through them and while you look through them or something uh, here is my clock widget this is stock with Android this is a stock widget that comes with Android uh, Jelly Bean and you have your quick toggles right here uh, I'm not exactly sure what the name was but it also comes stock with Android as well so if we go to my next page I have the weather channel widget here uh, it's very useful for finding out my information and stuff in this case it's 89 degrees it feels like 97 of course the humidity index and then we have the calendar here, it's uh, August 9th and it's Friday, sometimes I forget the date during summer, so that's why it's always great to have that there. And then I have my battery widget there, which I believe came stock with the device too. This isn't any special fancy battery widget, it's just a simple one for letting me know my battery. Uh, so if we go to the left, I have the same uh, messaging widget that I have on my uh, on my lock screen so it's basically the same thing if I want to check a message or something and here's my dock I have phone messages uh, camera in Chrome there and my app drawer in the center so this is my simplistic layout I don't have any icon labels enabled on my home screen I disabled that thanks to apex launcher and that is the launcher that I am using now I know that many people that are watching my videos are iOS users so I'm going to put what a launcher means in iOS jailbreaking equivalents so the equivalent to a launcher on Android is like spring to mice 2 on iOS that's the city of tweak it's equivalent to so if you mix spring to mice 2 with winterboard you get a launcher there are many different launchers to choose from and the one that I have by personal preference is Apex Launcher. Uh, so if we go into my app drawer, uh, you'll be able to see uh, my settings. I'm not going to go too in depth with my settings, so uh, this is just going to be a simple go through, like a walk through. So here are my home screen settings. I have an 8x8 eight eight portrait grid so I can get them uh, the icons packed together. I, I modified the icon size to 90%. And I have uh, show wallpaper on desktop, of course, that should always be enabled. And I also have fade indicator uh, and show indicator, whatever that means. I think that was enabled by default. That's my home screen settings, my drawer settings. I have it packed in a 5x6 grid if we see here. Uh, if we go into my app drawer, this is a 5x6 grid. Uh, if we go right here, I just like having it like that because I don't access the app drawer too often because uh, I have all the apps I really need on my home screen. So all the unimportant ones would be here. Uh, they're not necessarily unimportant. I just don't use them. I have all unimportant apps or settings that I don't feel like adjusting in here uh, and all the important apps moved on to here. Of course they're in both places because an app drawer keeps all the apps in the app drawer and then you just move the ones that you want onto your home screen. But these are the ones that I want and I just keep the rest in here along with the ones that are already on my home screen. So what is the theme that I'm using? 
I am using the MIUI X4 theme. There is a settings icon for it here. Uh, it's somewhere there, right there at the bottom. Uh, if we go into Apex settings, this is where the winterboard aspect of Apex Launcher comes in. You have your theme settings. I downloaded a few themes. If we go into theme settings, a lot of iOS uh, users must be familiar with this theme, Glass Clark. It is a spectacular theme that I always used to run on my iOS device. And now it's on Android. I was, I was ecstatic when I saw it on Android. I didn't know it was an Android theme. I don't know if it was an Android theme before it was an iOS theme, but anyway, it just looks great. But for now, I have the MIUI X4 theme free. I don't know why it's in all caps, but it was a free theme. And it looks pretty nice, I think. I mean... It looks like a nice theme, it's very simplistic. I'm probably going to change it soon, but who cares? I mean, this is pretty nice for what I have going now. Uh, this wallpaper comes with the MIUI theme, so yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to lock desktop. Okay, so uh, yeah, that is basically my theme, my Apex launcher, my widgets. Almost everything is done, really, but I do have a couple things to show you. Uh, in fact, I have one thing to show you. I have Beats Audio on my device, yeah. Beats Audio, and by default on the Nexus 4, Beats Audio isn't enabled. You don't have the option for Beats Audio. Of course, Beats Audio is kind of a scam sort of thing, as Beats Audio is really just an equalizer setting for your speaker or headphones. But I still wanted to try it out, you know, because all the people who brag that they have Beats Audio on their HEC1 or uh, what, what else, uh, just HP manufactured laptops, they have uh, Beats Audio by default. But you can easily get Beats Audio on an Android device. All you need to do is download an APK, simply install it, and you have Beats Audio on your device. So what does Beats Audio do on a non-supported device? It just separates the lows from the mids and the highs from the mids even further apart. So it basically makes everything a little bit more echoey or a little bit better. Although some of it is just placebo effect, it actually does improve sound a little bit. Uh, but I just wanted to have it there just to goof around because I could basically. Uh, so that is basically my Android setup for now. Of course, this is probably going to change as time goes on. I'll probably make another Android set of video if I uh, drastically change it, but for now this is what it's going to be like. I'll probably make a what's on my Android video, and in that video I'll probably explain uh, the changes that I made, if any were made. Uh, but make any suggestions for what videos you want to see next. Uh, it can be iOS related, Android related, whatever. Uh, so just let me know, and yeah, that's all from me basically, and I'll be making more videos coming soon on the way. I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a nice day.